Hello friends, Ben Ochart here. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am in Gilbert, Arizona at Plants and Fins. Plants and Fins. They have a very nice inventory in here of uh, cichlids and of course plants as the name implies. And I've spoken with Devin. He's given me the okay to go in there and do some filming. Let's take a look inside of this fish shop in Gilbert, Arizona. Let's go on in. It's been operating for a couple years at this location. And when I asked Devin, the uh, owner, what his area of emphasis was, he expressed it was plants and uh, and African cichlids. Take a look at these guys. So I'm here with, uh, with Devin. He's the owner of Plants and Fins. Plants and fins. Plants and fins. Let me go ahead and just ask a few questions about the shop. So, Devin, you've been at this for about three years. You you're, uh, came to Gilbert about a year and a half ago? Yeah, a year and a half, two years ago, we moved from Queen Creek, Arizona, to Gilbert, Arizona. And you've owned it for about a year? Yes. The sole owner. Correct. You're a sole owner, not part of a partnership now. Correct. Very, very good. And emphasis seems to be uh, on, on plants, which I'm seeing some beautiful examples here. And I love the way you're using these fish up here to provide some of the nitrates and nutrients of the plants. Very smart. See some great examples of plants here. And also your other emphasis is African cichlids? Correct. In the back we have a whole breeding facility of African cichlids back there. Nice. That you ship from back there. Yes. Very, very good. Well, I appreciate you letting me into the shop and let me walk around. Yeah, thank and, you. And uh, you are open to the public. Uh, which days of the week again? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay. And, and so we're here every day. So we're always answering messages and things on our social media pages. And we do online orders. Well, don't say you're here every day because people will come knocking. <laughs> I, I live here. All our locals know I'm here every day. I already have that problem. Yeah, yeah. James has that problem too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, my friend. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Beautiful fish. You look at that guy. Love that sand diver. That's a beautiful fish right there. Kabuko. It's like a buco chromis of some kind. It's a buco noto mixed with the rostratus. Yeah. With the rostratus. Oh, I get it. So it's a buco. See, see the he has like the, the rostratus coloring yeah. and the buco shape. Buco with a rostratus. Uh, when he bred back, he bred back the rostratus. So buco chromis so with the rostratus. And now, but I have a, it's a very nice fish. And you have a lot of breeding going on, breeding projects currently. Uh, projects, no. I don't. I don't do a lot of projects. It just takes okay. too much. If you're gonna do it right, if you're gonna do it like all the kind of the famous guys in Germany do it. You really have to get dedicate a lot of tanks and years to creating a really good project. So I let them do all that work. I just bring in breeding groups from all of those places. I get it. I get continue it. Continue them on. The only one that I have is the Buco Rostratus. That's the only group I've ever worked with. But yeah, yeah I, I can show you some of the other stuff that we have that we have. That's pretty nice. Where are those? I'm back. Wanna go back there? Yeah, let's go. All right, we're gonna get a private tour here in the uh, in the place. This is our betta wall. Betta wall. Now yeah, this is where we just keep our overstock of our bettas that we don't show up front. So as we sell bettas, we move them up. But we're usually keeping a good fifty to eighty bettas in the shop at once. We have a really, really good breeder out of Houston. Um, so we we've, we've been uh, high demand for these bettas. This is a cool setup, actually. These are just cut water bottles. Costco water bottle. It Costco fits, water bottles. It fits a PVC. one inch PVC and it auto, it's so tight it, it water seals. Don't even have to glue it. Yep, no no fittings or anything. Wow. You could almost use this for display. I mean the ripples make it a little hard to see, but you can make out the colors. Yeah, that's why we move them up front as we sell them up front. We just keep replacing them as we go. Nice. Back here all is right. the, kind of the breeding room. On the ground floor is all the forty breeders. These are all the different breeding groups that we have. Uh, when our females hold, of course, we strip and we tumble, so we tumble everything, and then the babies go in these big 100-gallon pools. All right, so this is where your where your uh, fry go after they've been uh, tumbled and, and ready. Yep. And I imagine you've got a, you've got a, a whole bunch of ways of graduating them up in size. Correct. Yeah, we have a whole system to it. So these labels on top have the date that, the, that they went into that pool. It's a simple yeah. filtration system. Huh? right into a basket of floss yeah this whole thing is on one system all and one system all one yeah. giant pump the whole back and it, and it goes to this drain line on the wall it 
it's constantly draining out. And we do about 15% water change over the course of every 24 hours, but it's all gradual all the time. 15% water change over every 24 hours. I got it. And here's your tumblers. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we just moved a bunch into pools today, and then tomorrow is our stripping day. So tomorrow we're going to go around and strip all the females again and fill it back up. That's a task. Oh, yeah. Time intensive. We get through about 15 broods every three days. Some good sized cichlids in here. Yeah, this is one of our customers who actually came back. He moved to Indiana and he's asking me to ship this fish for him. So I gave him a whole pool until he can get set up in Indiana and then I'm going to ship all of his fish to him. Nice. But all of these fish he got from us. And he got them when they were just babies and he grew them out. So it was fun to see them come back because I've never seen my fish come back and be adults. So this is like fish boarding. Yeah. Ah, I like it. Once they graduate from the, uh, the littler pools, they make it into these big pools. All of them are different sizes. So as they put on size, they go ahead and go back here. And it just becomes more, and then you'll start to see males coloring up. And you just separate. I get in there. Come in so you won't sell from back here necessarily? Oh, no, this is exclusively where I sell for African cichlids. Oh, really? Yeah, so every okay. customer that wants an African cichlid comes back here. I'll have a specimen cup out. This is how you would show, if I want to grab some fish from this tank, this is how you would show them to me? Yep. So each customer stands right where you're at, and we have specimen cups right here, and you just handpick the fish you want. And I'll just go through these pools and kind of pull them all out. There's one of those buco, buco restratus mixes right there. Nice. A little juvenile because they get big. It's like going to Lake Malawi. <laughs> yeah, and the size just keeps going up. So we got more predator hats and a lot of the larger peacocks and stuff down there in the last pool. All right, so you're not selling really out of that main, main room. That That's mainly display, that big tank. Yeah, I mean, I'll sell out of that tank, but... I charge a premium because it takes me like 30 minutes to catch a fish out of there. And, and it took you... Because everything's for sale. There's always a price for everything. This is cool. I've never seen the use I've never seen the use of a screen like that. That's I got the idea from a YouTube video of the guys in India that have some of the fish farms. Yeah. You know, and they got yeah. those cement, big old cement uh, kind of ponds, and they just retrofit a huge net, and they walk it from one end to the under and, uh, yeah. and pick up all the fish. It's just some PVC and some mesh. Yeah, it's that green door screen from Home Depot. Very cool. Some beautiful fish in there. It really, really shows the color when you pull them out. Yeah, the, the thing with these pools too, I get these on Amazon. Uh -huh. But they're white, white and blue checker boxes. Yeah. And it kind of washes them out. So I had to, I learned to line them all with black rubber. Oh, I interesting. The, it's all fish, out. fish safe, obviously. Yeah. Very cool. Oh, I see the checker pattern. Our shipping station back there, and then there's a third row that's just all breeding tanks stacked on each other in the very back. Very nice. I like it. Yeah. All right, let's look. Let's look. That's where we fast them for two days before we ship them out. So all the black tubs are online orders that people have that we just get prepared. And we'll ship out every Tuesday, Wednesday. Very cool. So anything in there is going to be going out probably Tuesday, Wednesday. Anything in there is going to be going out in the next two or three days. Yes. So you clean out their gut before you ship them? Yes. Is that with all the fish or just the cichlids? Just the cichlids. plant section of the store. These are some of the best plants I've seen so far. Beautiful red, love that red. Real nice floating plants here. Look at this pink and green. Very nice. Very nice plant selection. We have a small tank above with some fish. Boy, that's a pretty fish right there. 
almost looks like the coloration of a flower horn. Maybe these fish are providing nutrients to the plants below. Whatever he's doing, it's working because the plants look great. There's some more red plants here. Very common plant you see almost everywhere. And here's some more. More, more examples of pretty plants down here in these smaller tanks, as well as a good guppy selection here. Flag fish, pretty. Fire mouth and a Texas cichlid. I'm thinking about getting some fire mouths. Polar blue parrots. Nice gold spotted sebrums. There's some smaller community fish. There's some of those lamp lamp eyes. And some neon tetras. Gold white clouds. Why those are pretty. Nice nano fish. Odessa barbs. I always love the look of these Odessa barbs, but I've always found barbs to be a bit nippy, so I tend to avoid them a little bit. Some grummies. Paradise grummies are, are probably one of my favorites. Here's a tank of live bears. Very nice. Little shrimp, little black shrimp. Here's where you check out. Got some some supplies out here. Little planted tank display. Plants and Fins in Gilbert, Arizona. Be sure to check them out if you're in the area. And a couple of you, like the Mexicali Fish Keeper, who subscribed to the channel, had suggested I come by. I'm glad I did. They have a nice selection of plants and African cichlids and a whole bunch of other fish. And uh, Devin was very friendly and the owner of the, of the store. So certainly if you're in the area, uh, check them out. I think they're open to the public just a few days a week, like Devin mentioned. And uh, there you have it. Plants and Fins. Thank you for tuning in, my friends. Be sure to uh, tune in on Saturday at 11 o'clock Central for the Cichlids and Coffee live stream. And if you haven't already, be sure to, uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. And if you'd like to support the channel, why not become a Patreon? It's uh, as low as $3 a month on up from there, and it really helps. Thank you, folks. That's it from, uh, for me from Arizona. Uh, we might make one or two more stops, see a couple more shops, and then it's back to my beautiful Nashville, Tennessee. Thank you, folks. Bye-bye.